हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू कोड विद अनुराग वेर यू कैन फाइंड लेटेस्ट जॉब अपडेट्स एंड कंप्लीट प्लेसमेंट प्रिपरेशन इन दिस वीडियो आई एल एक्सप्लेन टेन लॉजिकल रीजनिंग क्वेश्चन विद सोल्यूशन फॉर एल एंड टी ऑनलाइन एग्जाम फॉर ग्रेजुएट इंजीनियर ट्रेनिंग रोल सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एल एक्सप्लेन सोल्यूशन ऑफ ऑल दी क्वेश्चन स्टेप बाई स्टेप सो वॉच फुल वीडियो फॉर बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एयर टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो लेट मी टेल यू वन मोर थिंग आई हैव अपलोडेड वन मोर वीडियो on एल एंड टी एग्जाम प्रिपरेशन सो इफ यू विजिट माई चैनल एंड इफ यू गो टू वीडियोज देन हेयर यू कैन फाइंड दिस वीडियो हाउ टू प्रिपेयर फॉर एल एंड टी एट लास्ट मिनट सो हेयर आई एक्सप्लेन द लेटेस्ट एग्जाम पैटर्न लेटेस्ट सिलेबस हेयर आई गिव सम टिप्स टू सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन सो इफ यू डिट वॉच दिस वीडियो यू कैन वॉच दिस वीडियो ऑल्सो यू विल फाइंड लिंक ऑफ दिस वीडियो इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स और यू कैन डायरेक्टली क्लिक ऑन दिस आई बटन टू वॉच दिस वीडियो या नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट आर वीडियो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन so here uh, the question number वन is statements and conclusion so here uh, they gave two statements and two conclusions so we have to find which conclusion or conclusions uh, is or are following the statements so for this type of question tip number वन you don't have to use your knowledge you have to give answer based on the statements and conclusion only okay now uh this type of for this type of question always draw venn diagram okay so in this video i'll explain how to draw venn diagram of, for this type of questions and how to solve so let's draw the venn diagram before that let's read the question first so question uh, statements are all dogs are animals and all cats are animals okay so for this statement let's draw the venn diagram so it is it is saying all dogs are animals so let's draw the venn diagram first all dogs suppose this circle is dog okay this circle is dog uh, i'll write d capital d capital d for dog and sorry here my handwriting is poor because i am trying to write with mouse okay yes yeah, so this is dog so this circle is dog suppose this circle is dog so it is saying all dogs are animals all dogs are animals so this is a dog so we will draw another circle the all dogs are animals so it will come inside another circle okay and this circle is indicating animals this is animals okay this is indicating animals so all dogs are animals you got it all dogs are animals okay now another statement is all cats are animals also uh, let's draw the uh, big big circle for this okay okay this is dog this was dog all dogs are animal and this big circle is animal animals okay uh, this is dog this is animal so all dogs are animals second statement is saying that all cats are animals so all cats are also animals so here if we draw here all cats this is cat so all cats are also animals so you got it this is dog all dogs are animals and this is cat this circle is indicating cat all cats are also animals okay now now let's read the conclusion so some dogs are cats it is saying some dogs are cats some dogs are cats so it may or may not be true okay is it saying some cats are dogs it may be true or may not be true it is not 100% sure okay so now another thing is no dog is cat it is saying no dog is cat it may or may not be true okay how i can say um, it may or may not be true because we could draw the cat like this also okay we could draw the cat like this also so here some portion is occupying this okay so so here uh, we don't know which statement is following uh, statement sorry conclusion conclusion 1 may be true or false similarly conclusion 2 may be true or false but you can notice one thing uh, is it possible then both statements are true is it possible uh suppose uh, it is saying some dogs are cats and in this second statement it is saying no dog is cat both both the uh, both the sentences are uh, contradicting each other it means both can't be true together okay it means either one or two is correct right either one or two follows so answer is correct answer is either two or either one or two follows because both statements can't be true okay right now let's uh, Uh, discuss second question second question is also same type of uh, that's why so can you can so that you can understand it better okay that's why i gave second question also the same type so this is again a uh, statements and conclusion questions so here uh, it is saying some kings are queens and all queens are beautiful 
okay now let's draw the venn diagram let's move this okay it is saying all some kings are queens some kings not all kings okay so here this circle is indicating kings this circle is king some kings are some kings are queens so let's draw another circle this circle is indicating this second circle is indicating queens okay so it is saying some kings so this is the common portion some kings are queen okay now after that it is saying all queens are be beautiful all queens are beautiful so all queens this all queens are beautiful so this circle will come inside this big circle and this big circle is indicating beautiful this is beautiful this is beautiful okay so here uh, here if you notice uh, some kings are queens and all queens queens are beautiful okay now let's read the uh, conclusion it is saying all kings are beautiful all kings are beautiful is it possible no because this is the portion this is the portion this is king but this is not beautiful okay so it is 100% sure statement one is wrong this is wrong okay all kings are beautiful it is saying all kings are beautiful no all kings are not beautiful because there are some portion uh, it is not not true okay this is not beautiful now after that all kings all queens are kings it is saying all queens this all queens this portion is king no this is the portion which is not king so this is also false right so what is the answer neither one nor, nor two follows neither this nor two follows so answer is this okay now let's discuss another question question number three so question number three is uh, so this is direction question so before this before starting the the question let me give some tips so always uh, just draw 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 diagram for this type of question so always as you know that on the right side we have east on the left side we have west on the top side we have north and in the bottom we have south okay so first draw like this after that always start from the center always start from the center now let's read the question question is rohit walked 25 kilometers towards south so rohit walked 25 kilometer towards south south is this this is south and this is 25 kilometer okay now after that so he walked from this and he this is the starting point this is the starting point okay now after that uh, then he turned to his left and walked 20 kilometers then he turned what will be the left of his he if he is facing towards south left will be this right it means east and he um, he turned to his left and walked 20 kilometers he, it means he will uh, move here and 20 kilometers okay right 20 kilometers so this is 20 after that after that then he turns to the to his left and walk 25 km 25 meters after that he again turns left this left and he walk 25 okay after that after that he again turned to his right and walk 15 after that he walked he turned right and walk 15 right is this and this is 15 okay this is 15 now it is same question is at what distance he is he uh, from the starting point in and in which direction so starting point is this ending point is this so what is the distance total distance this is uh, 20 so this is also 20 okay because this is a uh, rectangle and 20 and plus 15 this is 20 plus 15 35 so total distance is 35 meter and which direction from here from here to here uh, so direction is east it means 35 meter east so correct answer is 35 meter east okay so question number four is which will replace the question mark so here if you notice here uh, in both the two triangles here this is question mark so we have to find the answer of this question mark so what will come in, uh, instead of this question mark so if we notice in both the first and second triangle if we multiply this five multiply 5 with 3 okay we multiply 5 with with 3 5 3 is 15 and we add 4 5 3 is 15 4 19 so we get the middle term inside the triangle term so similarly if we multiply this 6 multiply 4 6 4 is 24 and 24 and 5 24 plus 5 29 
okay so we get the middle term it means if we multiply left side by right side and we add the bottom side then we will get the middle term okay inside the triangle term similarly we will apply the same thing here so if we multiply 7 by 5 so we will get 7 5 is 35 so 35 plus 6 what will come 41 so answer is 41 so here 41 will come so correct answer is 41 okay right now let's discuss another question question number 5 so question number 5 is uh, here uh, three statements a b and c are given below so statement 1 is saying either red party or green party won the elections statement b is red party won statement c is neither red party nor green party won the elections okay so after that it is saying of these statements only one statement is wrong who won the election so we have to find the answer who won the election red party or green, green party okay so we have to find the answer so here uh, this is very important it, it is saying only one statement is wrong it means if one statement only one statement is wrong it means two statements are correct okay now first let's find which two statements are correct okay so if you notice here if we um, consider statement a statement c okay if we consider this so statement one is saying either red party or green party won the elections after that statement c is saying neither red party nor green party won the election it means both the statements are contradicting each other it is not possible that a and c both can be correct okay a and c can't be correct together okay so now let's uh, consider now let's consider uh, b and c okay now let's consider b and c if we consider b and c b is saying red party won C is saying neither red party nor red, nor green party won the election. It means again both are contradicting each other. Uh, B is saying red party won and C is saying red party neither red party nor green party won the election. Both statements are um, are contradicting each other. It means it's clear that statement C is incorrect. Okay, this is fine. Statement C can't be true. So statement C is correct and statement A and statement B is correct statement c is incorrect sorry okay statement c is incorrect and statement a and statement b is correct now now we know which two statements are correct so statement a and b are correct so now let's find out the solution so it is statement one is saying either red party or green party won the elections statement b is saying red party won the election both are correct it means red party won the election okay so correct answer is red party won the election okay now question number six is uh, which will replace the question mark okay so which will replace the question mark so here uh, first pause this video first think from yourself if you can't find the answer then come back to this video uh, then watch the solution okay yeah now uh, let's discuss the solution so here uh, if you notice uh, here if you notice if you if you multiply this 4 by 7 if you multiply this let me realize this yeah yeah if you multiply this 4 by 7 if you multiply this we will get 28 okay we will get 28 and if we divide the result by this by first number by 4 then what we will get 7 we will if we divide 28 by 4 then we will get 7 similarly if you multiply this 6 multiply 2 what we will get 12 and if you divide 12 by the first first number 3 then what we will get we will get 4 okay similar thing we have to apply here so we have to multiply this 6 by 2 what we will get 12 and we have to divide 12 by 2 what we will get 6 equal to 6 answer is 6 so correct answer is 6 right yeah now another question is question number 7 which will replace the question mark so here uh, this is the quite similar question the uh, same as the previous so but a little different so if you notice here if you multiply the first and second if you multiply 2 by 2 we will get 4 and after we subtract the right one subtract 1 then we will get 3 okay so we have to multiply first by second and we have to subtract the third from the result similar if we multiply this 5 multiply 4 we will get 20 and from 20 we subtract 5 this one then we will get 15 okay similar thing we have to apply here if we multiply 5 by 5 if we multiply 5 by 5 5 multiply 5 we will get 25 then subtract this 3 then what we will get we will get 22 so correct answer is 22 right now another question is 
विच विल रिप्लेस द्वेश्चन मार्क सो हेयर दिस इज ए क्वेश्चन मार्क वी हैव टू फाइंड वॉट विल कम इन साइड दिस इंस्टेड ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन मार्क सो दिस इज वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन इफ यू लुक फर्स्ट टाइम देन इट दिस क्वेश्चन विल लुक डिफिकल्ट बट इट इज रियली इजी क्वेश्चन सो हाउ टू सॉल्व सो हेयर इफ यू नोटिस द थिंग द बॉटम बॉक्स इज दिस सम ऑफ द अब टू बॉक्स If you add this six plus seven, if you add six plus seven, then we will get thirteen. Same if you add seven plus two, then we will get nine. So the bottom bar box is the sum of the above two boxes. Same. Similarly here, if we add here thirteen plus nine, then we will get if we add thirteen plus nine, we will get twenty-two. Okay. So same thing you have to apply bottom. S similarly, the bottom. uh this this top box is this sum of the uh, bottom two boxes so if we add 13 plus 4 we will get 7 similarly if we add this two we should get 5 okay so what we will add in 4 then we get 5 so if we add 1 if we add 1 4 plus 1 5 so answer is 1 right now another question number 9 is which will replace the question mark so this is the question mark so we have to find what will come instead of this question mark so this is a triangle obviously in the triangle uh, there are three sides so if we notice here uh, if we if we consider this side so if we consider this side here you can find one thing if we add if we add this side we add 7 plus 3 10 10 plus 3 12 12 plus 2 15 so we got 15 similarly if we consider this side this side let's add 2 plus 6 8 Eight plus two, ten. Ten plus five, fifteen. So we got fifteen. Similarly, if we add this this bottom side, then also we should get fifteen. It means let's consider. So seven plus eight, seven plus one, eight. Eight plus five, thirteen. What is rest? Two. If we add two in the thirteen, then we will get fifteen. So what should come here? Two. Okay. So correct answer is two. Right. Now let's discuss question number ten. So question number ten is what number should come next? So here uh, this is very easy question if you um, if you can notice here. So first number is seven, ten, eight, eleven, nine, twelve. So if you notice, then you can find one thing easily. If we uh, add three in the first number, we get ten. Again, we if we subtract two from this, we got eight. Okay. Again, if we add three, then we get eleven. Again, we subtract two, we get nine. Again, if we add three, then we get twelve. so what we have to do you can see the pattern first we have, we have to add 3 then we have to subtract 2 first then again we have to add 3 then we have to subtract 3 subtract 2 so it means first we have to add 3 let me remove this then okay yeah so here uh, first we have to add 3 if we add here 3 then what will what, what we will get 3 plus 7 plus 3 10 10 minus 8 10 minus 2 8 Eight plus three, eleven. Eleven minus two, nine. Nine plus three, twelve. Twelve minus ten. Twelve minus two. What we will get? Ten. Okay. So simple. This is very easy question. First we have to add three, then we have to subtract two. Again we have to add three, then we have to subtract two. So we will get ten. So correct answer is ten, right? Yeah. So that's it from my side in this video. If you have any doubt, please feel free to ask in comment box. You can join our Telegram channel. I'll provide link in the description box. One, one more thing, if you want this uh, this PDF, uh, then uh, don't worry. You can join our Telegram channel. I have already shared this PDF in the in our Telegram channel. You can search uh, you can search this PDF by the name is L N T Online Exam Preparation. Okay. Yeah. L N T Online Exam Preparation Reasoning. Then you can easily find the this PDF with solution. Yeah thank you for watching this video and subscribe this channel for more such videos